the smalls. Come on up, Kate. Take it away. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Kate Tancred, the co-founder and managing director of the smalls. So, as a community, the small started in 2006. Um, my very clever business partner, Anna, came up with the concept to showcase small films for small screens, which is why we're called the smalls, back when the first video iPod launched. Um, Apple loved what we did so much, they commissioned the smalls to do the same in their flagship store. From there, we had the festival every year until Anna and I, in 2013, created what the smalls is today. Anna came from a creative agency background and I was an ex-media planner putting through huge television deals and I didn't have a TV. Convinced video was the way forward, we wanted to create a service that streamlined the production process. So we created The Smalls, a content marketplace that connects the world's filmmaking talent together with the world's brands and agencies. Video is the language of the internet. I know we're all here at the Vision Summit. Did you know by 2018, 84% of the world's internet traffic will be video? You can see this in the shift in emphasis from brands like, from companies like Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, all adapting their technologies and acquiring companies that facilitate the championing of video. So we've seen, particularly from our clients, uh, quite thankfully, that they are shifting their emphasis from the one hero viral piece of content. They're now um, commissioning or paying for a more suite of content that populates these channels here. We recently created for one of our clients, um, NBC Universal Pictures, 22 pieces of content to promote the new up and coming Minions film. And they, they went out across all of these channels here. So brands and agencies are looking at this strategy as a much more effective strategy to reach consumers on the go. So to create this video is a huge opportunity. It's currently tipped to be worth nine billion by 2018. This is on par with the gaming industry in 2007 and it's set to grow at, a, at, at around the same rate. But with this growth in demand, it has caused a huge problem within the industry. Brands and agencies need content quick, quickly and cost-effectively while still retaining quality, which is why we built the smalls. Oh, the volume. I might just start it again, if that's okay. I want the full experience. Oh. <laughs> So we launched our MVP in 2013 and today this is how it works. We take a brief from our client, on average for a video briefs are around £30,000. For a micro piece of content they're around 3 k uh, We promote that brief to our community of 11,000 filmmakers. They pitch to make that piece of content. The client then commissions the filmmaker in the concept they like the best and then they head into production. This process can take anywhere from 24 hours for a piece of micro content that we've been turning around for brands like HTC and, and Coca-Cola all the way through to a few weeks depending on the nature of the content. So getting the word out there, The Smalls has grown and developed its very own film for short film festival. It's now one of the biggest short film festivals in London, it's sponsored by people like UK TV, Panasonic, Apple, of course, are still involved. We have over 11,000 filmmakers who are advocates. Every time we get a new brief, that community grows in that area. So we recently launched a, a brief for AJ+, Plus, for example. We then got a whole heap of new documentary filmmakers. Uh, we have strategic partnerships with um, media agencies and programmatic exchanges, for example, Unruly Media, one of the biggest programmatic exchanges in the world. We have created hundreds of videos for the fantastic brands you see on screen. We have um, established a 40% repeat in business. Not all of these brands are commissioning video on a regular basis just yet. Um, and we have had revenues of um, in excess of a million since, since, raising, uh, since launching in 2013. And we have a 100% growth rate quarter on quarter. So what's next? We're raising a million for US expansion, key hires and tech dev. We have a fantastic team, um, all experts in media, technology and advertising with over 250 years experience amongst them. 
Thank you very much. I'm Kate. Please come and find me later if you wish to discuss further. Great. Come on out here. Well done. Okay, judges, who wants to go first? Trying to make sure I understood the uh, the model. Is it a bit like 99 Designs um, for, video. But for video? Yes, correct. And so uh, do people get anything for submitting their concepts? No, at this stage they don't. They get paid once they're commissioned from the client. Yep. Can you take further talk further about your revenue model? Um, how do you make money? Sure. We take a percentage on all briefs that, that are commissioned through the platform. Uh, that percentage is 30% at the moment, but we're looking to lower that as we do our tech dev and automate that process further. What about the film festival? <coughs> do we generate revenue from that? We do. It's fully funded by our sponsors. Um, we're, using, we're going to use the festival as an expansion model into other international markets. We've already put on some screenings in the US already, but that, that's kind of how we see our expansion model rolling around. The festival alone generates 3,000 new members for us, and, and it's free for us as a company. What's the average number of submissions you get for... Uh it really varies. So, um, as I mentioned, we, we this micro content, huge growing market for us, 22 pieces for, for Universal Pictures we delivered last week. Um, we can turn uh, micro content around in 24 hours, um, but as opposed to making, we just finished shooting a, a, a premium coffee brand video. That, that took about six weeks. Um, the question was time related. I'm sorry, it's like if you put a piece of work out there, how many Oh, people submissions, submit? yeah. It really depends on the, the brand. So for them, it's for the money, for the real, or for the relationship. So if we had a brand that had a fantastic budget, we, we might get somewhere around 80 responses to that. Um, but if it's more quicker turnaround, the, the, bud, the opportunity is less in, in their minds. We might get, you know, 20. What are a couple of examples of micro-content? So um, Snapchat. We made some Snapchat videos for, for Universal Pictures. We also make a lot of Vines um, now and Instagram videos and, and more recently Cinemagraphs as well that play out across Instagram and Facebook. Given you're targeting social, are you running up against these influencer networks that are out there where then a brand can access an influencer rather than someone random? Um, yeah, I would say we probably are, but um, the way we position ourselves, we have a really granular story and, and company. You know, we're all about authenticity and creativity in the market. Um, so we're kind of positioning ourselves as a bit more of a premium crowdsourcing solution. Um, we're not adverse to, to working with influencers either um, in the future if, if the brief, it's really de determinant on the brief from the client. Just a follow up. What's the average cost of one of these pieces of content? Um, again, it's because of the market. It's super. Um, it's super varied. So um, an average piece for micro content is about three grand. But we've had um, briefs, you know, one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty thousand, which is, I think, um, really nice part of the flexibility of the model. So there's a lot of kind of upsell as well. So if we make a hundred k video, we can then probably sell, you know, thirty k worth of micro content. Um, which is nice. Any last question? Anybody? No? Thank you very much. Well Thank done. You.